Continuing with vectors, the component form of a vector. So there's component forms and rectangular form of a vector. The component form kind of looks like a point, but it's not. So with a vector, you have an initial point and a terminal point. To write a component form, we write it like this. It's got some kind of parenthesis looking type of thing, but with a point in it. I don't e even know what you would call that. Uh, maybe it has a name, but that is the vector notation. So to find a vector between it, it's, it is between its initial point and its terminal point, you would subtract the terminal minus the initial x values and then the terminal minus the initial y values. So for example, given the vector v with initial point 3, 8 and terminal point negative 1, 3, find the component form of v. So it would be starting with the terminal point negative 1 minus 3, negative the x value of the terminal point minus the x value of the initial point, and then the y value of the terminal point minus the y value of the initial point. So vector v is denoted as negative 4, negative 5. We looked over properties of addition and multiplication in the previous video. You can add vectors, you can subtract vectors, you can multiply vectors by a scalar. So when you add them, you just add the x values, add the y values. Subtracting, same type deal. Multiplying by a scale, scalar, you're just multiplying each, the x value and the y value, by the number. Example 2 says, given vector v with initial point 12, negative 10, and terminal point negative 20, 10, find the component form of v. So the component form of v would be, just as we did in example 1, the x value of the terminal point minus the x value of the initial point, then the y value of the terminal point minus the y value of the initial point. So we get negative 32, 20. Then it says, if v is placed with an initial point at 5, 3, then what is the terminal point? So basically, we're picking up the vector and moving it to an initial point at 5, 3. So if we take the point 5, 3 and add to it our vector, then that will give us the new terminal point. So 5 plus negative 32 and 3 plus 20, our new terminal point is negative 27, 23. For example 3, we're just going to perform some vector operations. So adding r plus s, we take the x values, add them, take the y values, add them, and we get the vector 3, negative 1. Subtracting s minus r, starting with s, we take the x values, subtract them, take the y values, starting with s, and subtract them. And our new vector is 1, 7.
For C, we want to find negative 4 times S. So we just basically take negative 4 times the X value of S and negative 4 times the Y value of S. That gives us negative 8, negative 12. And last, 3R plus 2S will take 3 times R and add it to 2 times S. So that would be 3 negative 12 plus 4, 6. 3 plus 4 is 7, and negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6.